So this is now my second attempt at recording this video. Um, usually I never record a video more than once. Um, reason why I hurt my arm. Um, yeah, the reason why I'm attempting it again is because the battery died. So without further ado, the game is Colin McRae Rally 2. I've last game I played was the Rally 2 so we're going to have a bit of a comparison session here we go so obviously the sequel to the first Colin McRae game Colin McRae is now dead um, in my opinion, what they're doing with the Dirt games now is, you know, a bit of an insult to his uh, the legend that was, and uh, yeah, they're just fucking ridiculous games. Whereas this should be straight up rally, like it should be. I actually like the first Colin McRae Dirt game, so it was like a proper. Um, rally game, but you know, there's a few distractions in it. But in, in essence, the main bulk of the game was rally, and it had some interesting uh, stages. And I thought the, the graphics engine was really good. Right. So, arcade rally, we'll go rally. Uh, Championship, novice, one player, player's guest, yeah, whatever. Ugh. When you just want to jump in and it won't let you. Looks to me like I kind of tried to be um, fashionable with the menus and to me it, it, it hasn't, their menus haven't aged well. I don't know what they look like originally. So like V Rally 2, it's got the same setup of uh, main rally cars. We'll go with the Ford Focus again, because um, so that's basically going to give us pretty equal comparison. And we're into Finland. White gravel and mud tracks make... Yeah, whatever. Uh, stage one. Get on with it! Jesus. Let me fucking race! So, we're in Finland. What a miserable place. Come on. Right. Three, two, one, go! So, um, so first impressions are um, more realistic than B Rally 2. Um, I was kind of expecting that. Um, the good thing about the cool thing about the original Colin McRae was kind of how far you could go off the track. Um, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do here. Can I drive around here? Yeah, I always thought that was a pretty, uh, pretty cool thing about the game. It actually kind of seemed like a world that had a course going through it. Rather than just being a, a narrow track. For some reason we've got indicators going off. It's got plenty of uh, overrun action in this game. I mean the car's split, spitting uh, flames out of the exhaust. That was one thing I was disappointed about with the rally too. Yeah, check that overrun out. Into 
the, uh, the, the sound effects as well are more what you'd expect from a rally car. A lot of the sound you can actually hear is actually the gearbox. They have very noisy uh, gearboxes. Is that kind of whining, whining sound? Almost sounds supercharger-ish. So that's another area that's more realistic than V Rally 2. It's also got a decent damage model in this game. It looks cool out of bumpers hanging off. Can feel a bit bleak at times though when it's just you and of course. Um, with V Rally 2, you, you get you get a, there's a bit more atmosphere because you get all the people kind of running across the track. Whereas in this game, it, I mean it's more realistic, don't get me wrong, but the scenery is a bit blander. What's, what's good about this uh, game is just the handling. I mean, you could bolt HD graphics onto this game and release it right now. Obviously, it'd require a few little car updates, you know, changing the cars, etc. But, you know, it's got the basis for just a great racing game, great rally game. I think graphically, um, okay. I've got to kind of say that graphically V Rally 2 is better. Let me just look at the box. Yeah, it, it, V Rally 2 is better graphic wise, but if, if you're going to comment on the way which game looks better, I think this game looks better even though it's got worse graphics I think the course um, kind of course design it, um, I don't know it's hard it's hard they're kind of just like two completely different games I think that's that's the essence of what I'm trying to get across the both um, the both great games um, like V Rally 2 is more more arcade than simulation. Um, this is just kind of all out simulation, realism, you know. Um, but yeah, they're just both great games on separate merits. See us on it there. So I'm going to exit to the main menu as it says and check out the arcade mode. Yeah, we'll save the data into the virtual memory card one. Alright. God, I've been playing some right classic racing games today. Gran Turismo, followed by V Rally 2, and then Colin McRae 2. do not get much better than that, really, does it? It'll go single race, one player, player's guest. Oh, for God's sake. 
should probably just create a driver, but I'm not planning on playing this game all day, so I don't really care. So we'll go for the Evo. Novice. Rally of Italy. Uh, yeah, Italy sounds good. So, unlike B Rally 2, it says there's five other tracks, cars on the track, not tracks on cars. Um, it's got a, I assume this hasn't got a course editor. Um, why am I looking at the B Rally 2 box saying I assume this hasn't got a course editor? This isn't B Rally 2, it's Gollum Crater! <clears throat> It's kind of nice. I like this. Woo! Yeah, chicken it sideways like a bitch. Yeah. I'd say this game um, definitely does tarmac better than B Rally 2. I don't think it's uh, in any way more realistic. I don't know whether the uh, the handling is rejigged for arcade mode in this game. Jamie can't get the uh, in cockpit view that he could get in uh, top of touring cars. It was a game from around the same era, also by Codemasters. If you don't know what Tocker it, Tocker Touring Cars is, it's the predecessor to the race driver, you know, um, like Grid. Certainly a lot more realistic though. Also, I've just noticed in arcade mode it's got music, like B Rally had music when I was playing that. Um, also, like V Rally 2, the music is fucking shit. Yeah, I'm bored of the tarmac now. We'll just have a quick look at what modes are actually available and then we'll end the video. Yes, I want to fill up my PS3 hard disks with saves from games I'm probably never going to play again. You go for it. Yeah, so we've got Arcade, we've got the normal Rally, Options, what's Drivers, that's where you just edit your drivers and shit looks like. Um, Options, what's graphics, uh, split screen, ghost car, on or off, okay. Yeah, so nothing radical about the game. Um, but yeah, it's a solid, decent game. Uh, doesn't quite seem like there's as much content in as in B Rally 2. Um, there's no track editor or anything like that. But Overall, if, if you could combine the two games, it'd be like the ultimate PS1 rally game. But at the moment, they've both got their own merits and drawbacks. So, pretty much, if you're a fan of rally and you're into your classic PS1 games, you need to pick up both of them, really, because they're both excellent games, each for different reasons. 